of a recession, which is two consecutive quarters of negative growth. I can tell and you this. They said two, two negative quarters of GDP growth is not the technical definition of a recession. It is what not. Change? It is not. Why? I will say that uh, the textbook definition of recession is not, is not two negative quarters of GDP. Think about a recession. Well, a recession is two quarters in a row of negative growth. I don't think we're going to have that. Remember way, way back during the old timey sepia tone days of 2018 when everyone knew the definition of a woman and a recession. Donald Trump was president and oddly the media and Democrats were way more eager to declare a recession. Thursday, that first reading of second quarter GDP, there's a possibility this is a negative number two consecutive quarters of, of negative growth. The definition of a recession is a decline in output for two consecutive quarters or about six months. A recession is just two consecutive quarters of economic decline. When we talk about the possibility of a recession, what is a recession? A recession is two consecutive quarters. Two consecutive quarters. Two consecutive quarters. Two consecutive quarters of declining GDP. Because as you know, it's two consecutive quarters of down GDP. That signals it is actually a definition of a recession. I mean, the most common definition of a recession, two consecutive quarters of negative growth. As Richard said, even if we don't have two consecutive quarters of negative growth, we might have one quarter of growth so deep that it's classified as a recession. And, you know, one of the reasons that we should all be very careful about even using the word recession, you can't really even officially use that. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the reasons that we should all be very careful about even using the word recession. Mm -hmm. The White House has been eager to push back on this notion that two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth automatically equals a recession. Yes, it is a rule of thumb, uh, but the White House is uh, really emphasizing here and trying to educate the public essentially over the last week. And to simply say, we have a good economy or we have a bad economy, come on, Willie, we have to remember what's actually causing inflation. You've got a war in your Ukraine. So you have the challenge of getting the American people positive about the economy. It's very psychological. How do you change the way people think? Because we are in an economic recovery. A recession is just two consecutive quarters of economic decline. Isn't it, oh, wait, 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 isn't wait, it more ahead, important ahead, that the carbon emissions will be reduced by 40% by mm. 2030? So, I, okay, inflation comes and goes, but the air we breathe is more important. Well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not concerned about a recession. And, I mean, you're always concerned about uh, a recession. It doesn't sound like a recession to me. Thank you very much. Yeah.